guys, I'm Mark Mendoza. You can call me Sir M. Let's mark up your math quest today. This video is about continuity. So what is continuity? A function is said to be continuous if there are no gaps or breaks in its graph. Meaning, we can trace the graph continuously without lifting our pen or pencil. Here are some examples. On the other hand, this is an example of a graph which is not continuous at x is equal to 2. This is an example of a graph which is not continuous at x is equal to negative 3, and a graph which is not continuous at x is equal to 2. So how do we know if a graph is continuous at a number? A function f of x is said to be continuous at a number a if all of these three conditions are satisfied. Condition 1, f of a exists. Condition 2, limit of f of x as x approaches a exists. And the third condition, the limit of f of x as x approaches a is equal to f of a. If one or more of these conditions fail, then the function f of a is discontinuous at the number a. To further explain this concept, let us have some examples. Identify whether the function 3x squared plus 2x minus 1 is continuous at x is equal to 1. Evaluating the function at x is equal to 1, we have f of 1, which is equal to 4. Further, by using limit loss or direct substitution, the limit of the function 3x squared plus 2x minus 1 as x approaches 1 is equal to 4. Since f of 1 is equal to the limit of f of x as x approaches 1, and the three conditions are satisfied, then the function is continuous at x is equal to 1. Let us identify if the function x squared minus 16 over x plus 4 is continuous at x is equal to 4. Evaluating the function x squared minus 16 over x plus 4 at x is equal to 4, we have f of 4 which is equal to 0. The limit of the given function as x approaches 4 is equal to 0. Since the limit of the function is equal to the value of f of 4 and the three conditions are satisfied, then the function is continuous at x is equal to 4. For our next example, is the function f of x is equal to negative 2x plus 4 if x is greater than or equal to 3, and x minus 1 if x is less than 3, continuous at x is equal to 3? Evaluating the function at x is equal to 3, we have f of 3 which is equal to negative 2. Now, let's solve for the limit of the function. Let's start with the right-hand limit. The right-hand limit of the function is equal to negative 2. On the other hand, the left-hand limit of the function is equal to positive 2. Since the left-hand limit is not equal to the right-hand limit, then the limit of the function does not exist. Since the second condition is not satisfied, then the function is not continuous at x is equal to 3. And now, I challenge you to solve for these examples. And here are the answers and solutions to the given problems. That's it. Thank you for watching this video.